Continuing our fall update coverage today, I'm joined by men's swimming and diving head coach Parker Spencer. And Parker, we're in the new Liberty Natatorium. It's a beautiful facility. And it's just a display that Liberty University supports our club sports program. So just being able to compete in the, the first ever meet here, just talk about the excitement the guys had. And you, you got in the pool as well. So just talk about the excitement that you guys had this past weekend. This, this facility is something that we told all of our guys about when we were trying to recruit them to be here. Um, but obviously, like the, I don't even think that the, we broke ground on it until um, earlier this year. So the fact that it, we're standing in it now, um, looking down at the pool is pretty incredible. Yeah. Um, so our guys were extremely excited to get in this and swim this weekend, and um, and it, it was funny because we didn't, we just wanted to have this meet be something that was fun, yeah. and uh, we didn't really taper them or anything else for it. And a lot of our guys swam the best that they have all year. So I think they're just they were just excited to be in here, um, as was myself and uh, and the other coaches that were here. So we got in and got to mix it up a little bit as well. Of course, it's the first season that Liberty University has had a men's swimming and dive team. You guys started off strong in the first ever meet you guys had. You placed first place, and you keep getting better every tournament. But just talk about just this first half of the season, where you think you guys stand as far as your expectations for the first half. Yeah, so I, I think we st we've started out things very, very well. Um, Typically, when you're starting a brand new program or you're taking over an existing program as a coach, you expect three years for that program to actually get to what you want it to look like. Um, but I feel like we're light years ahead of that um, right now, where we've, we have a great crew of guys that we were able to recruit for the first team. I told everyone from the very first meeting, I want you to come in here with the mindset of winning a national championship. And uh, when we went to our first meet, I think all the guys were surprised um, at how well it went. And then we competed against uh, the former national champions from UVA, mm -hmm. and um, and we're pretty close. And if we had diving at that competition and, and our four divers were able to compete, um, then our score would have been higher than theirs. So uh, the possibility is definitely there. We've got some new guys coming in January, um, so we're we're very excited for what's to come and uh, continue to build off the success that we've had. What are some things that stood out to you this first year? You, you say you were kind of surprised after the first you know, competition that you guys had. So what are some other things that really stood out to you that's helped propel you guys to such a strong start this year? Well, I, I think that one, you're, you're bringing in guys that have already been successful in high school. And so you're just kind of capitalizing on their success and from there and bringing it um, into and, and to here at Liberty competing at, at a college atmosphere. Um, I mean, honestly, it's, it's difficult getting people from so many different backgrounds to come and all buy into one type of training and one program. And so um, as with any program, the, the, the most important thing is to get the culture um, where you want it and then also make the team believe in what we're trying to do. And I think the guys that we have on the team now um, are definitely right in line with, with, with our vision and they understand what we're trying to do and they're coming to practice working very hard every week and in, day in and day out. So uh, it's really been cool to see so many different backgrounds from really all over the world come to be a part of this and, and really create the program that we have now. Nice. Now that we're at the halfway mark and you get some time to assess your team, you've had time to assess your team. And of course, next semester, the goal, like you said, it's a national championship. What is it going to take for you guys to, you know, have that success to be able to get to that national level? Well, it's obviously, as you know, now that it's getting a little bit colder here, you're seeing people sick a little bit more often. Yeah. Um, second semester, you always struggle with sickness. So it's really just um, making sure our guys are staying healthy and then also continuing what we've been trying to do this semester and building off of that fitness and making it more race specific going into big meets. I think we're well on track and uh, I, I'm, I know all the, guys are, all the guys are ready for a Christmas break, but I think they're already excited to come back and know that we're going to have practices here. Well, nice. Have a safe break. Happy holidays. You guys deserve a good break. Thanks. You as well. For Parker Spencer, I'm Gabe Henderson for LFSN. Signing off.